Jesus says, I cannot paint a rosy picture where judgment is concerned. October 1st, 2024, Claire began. Greetings, dear family. The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. Amen. That's Psalm 99. Lord, you are coming. Jesus, draw my very little heart out of myself and into yours, as well as the souls who need my prayers. Please, Jesus, I love you, but I'm so little, so frail, and so weak. How is it possible for me? I don't want to disobey you, but I have little self-control and feel so unstable. How are we ever going to be ready? With my grace, you can pass through this time of instability and uncertainty. Take my hand, sweet spouse of my soul. Take my hand. Be afraid no more. I see all and understand all of what you're going through. Don't you think I care? Don't you think my mercy engulfs you, even in and especially with your wretchedness? I understand it well, and I'm telling you now, you are not a failure. You are being shrouded in lies and accusations that constantly bombard you and take you away from me. There is no easy fix for this, beloved. It is a difficult trial which I am allowing to release more graces into the community to keep your husband alive and also cover the world. I know this is not the bent of your heart. You are being heavily oppressed, so you can't even think straight. I see what is happening, you don't. So I say to you, stand firm. This too will pass, and you will have your sense of direction and prayer burdens back. Truly you will. This is you with grace bridled. You are carrying a heavy load. This is not your nature at all. So bear with me, beloved. Bear with me. You are slowly putting all the pieces together of what your planet is about to go through. But because of your prayers and the prayers of others, it will not be as severe for you as it will be for the rest of the world. I see that it is not lost on you that the two most oppressive religions are in the countries that persecute my church the most. It is no accident, it is punishment. They will call out to me and I will hear them. But some will not call out, some will ignore me, and for them it will be much, much worse. If you have me, you have everything you need. Without me, whatever you do have is useless. They shall throw their gold and silver into the streets. This is the fulfillment of that time, as we speak. Their gold and silver is unable to help them. The relentless waters continue to flow and back up into their high-rises. All over the world people are experiencing calamity upon calamity in the hope that they will cry out to me for mercy. Everything is crumbling from the inside out. All their wealth and opulence has become a stumbling block, unable to deliver them. For those who cry out to me, there will be mercy. For those who shake their fist in my face, lasting torment, darkness, and separation from me. This is the cry of my heart. Don't let this get you down. Keep on admonishing and teaching. These things must be addressed as well. I cannot paint a rose-colored picture where judgment is concerned. Don't despair. Clear the air with truth, in the hopes that men will repent. Keep working on the heaven messages, they truly need to be heard, but don't beat yourself up. I'm about to release more graces in this area. You are weighed down by too much condemnation, so what you need is prayer. This is a major tactic in the Dark Kingdom to point out to souls where they failed and how much better you could have done. So they lose all hope. And that was the end of his message. Let's stay encouraged, dear family, and continue to proclaim the truth. For as believers we know that surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen.